Hi, I'm Gretchen. And I'm Becca. And we're two curious ladies on an adventure to learn more about cooking, cannabis, and the fine art of gluttony. Join us every 10 days or so as we get high and make our way through a recipe. Step inside and let the consumption begin. (laughs) Hello, Gretchen. Hello, Becca. How are you? I'm good. I'm very excited, of course. I'm always excited when we meet and always excited to eat a food that we make. But very excited today because we're doing another pantry power up, trying to make things simple. And we're making guacamole. Guacamole. Ah, the angel sing. Yes, it is tasty. It is delicious. Some people do not like avocado. I feel so sorry for them. And if you do like avocado, you know guacamole is from the gods. Bacchus just giving us our indulgences. Yes, please. Thank you. (laughs) But what are you drinking while we mentally prepare to make our so tasty guacamole? This is taco truck lager (laughs) from (laughs) Dust Bowl (laughs) Brewing Company. An easy drinking Mexican style lager I decided to try today. It was one of the single cans available at my local market. It's a giant can. It is a 20 ounce can. So I don't know that I'm going to be finishing this beer myself, but Mm -hmm. what's your alcohol volume? 4.7. So not okay. It's probably fine. What are you enjoying? It looks tasty from the can. (laughs) Pretty good. Uh, Oh, good. I'm enjoying a Deschutes IPA. It's 7% alcohol, so watch out. It's good. I like a nice pungent IPA sometimes. This one's nice. Easy drinking lager. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We'll Mm. see what further revelations come to mind. (laughs) Yes. later we will be using lime we'll be using onion we will see how our beers change with our yes. guacamole journey what are you smoking i have a baby jeter blueberry kush infused joint to enjoy a couple little puffs off of today and it smells pretty good so far but i'm nice. can't wait to taste it yeah. what are you enjoying well, just real quick, too, we love to see you with your baby joints because I know. we never know what the full joints are going to do. I mean, you never do full joints, but it can be harder to stop. I'm enjoying a vape pen. This is Coma, and I think that is short for something else. I'm not sure, but it's got caryophylline, lemonine, myrcene, and 86% THC. It's pretty tasty. Mm. It's good with my beer. Yum, yum. <laughs> So, you know, that just tasty, tasty joint, tasty pen. I would like to regale you with some avocado kugel information. Oh, hit me with the kugels. As we know, vegetables are not a thing. So avocados are a fruit, but more specifically, they are a berry. Oh, I know. Interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't either. They are a member of the Larissea plant, which is also the cinnamon tree is part of that same plant family, which surprised me also. I don't really know what a cinnamon tree looks like. So if I knew what it looked like, it might surprise me less, but. Sure. But I never equated cinnamon and avocado in my head. So that's kind of fun. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Avocados are native to Mexico and Central America, but they are cultivated in a lot of places, including North America. And in the United States, California is actually the top producer of avocados. And in California, there are over 5,000 avocado farms, and those farms generate 400 million pounds of avocados each year. Thank you, farm workers. Thank you. That's a lot of avocados. 400 million pounds. That's so much avocado. That's so much avocado. I mean, I eat a lot of avocado in this house, so it makes sense to me, but it's still a lot of avocado. 
Well, especially with as on trend as it is in the food these days, you yeah. put avocado on everything. It's very good for you, so not surprising there, but also that's a lot of yeah. avocado. And it's that's just from one region. From one region. Mexico is actually the largest producer of avocado, though. And Mexico supplies 32% of the world's avocado need. The Haas avocado, which is what I see, probably you see most commonly in the grocery store, actually only dates back to the 1920s. There was a postman named Rudolf Haas who took these avocado seeds that existed at the time and planted them and grafted a few other varieties to it. And that yielded the Haas avocado that we know today. And so he named it after himself. I mean, if you make an avocado, you're allowed to name it after yourself. That is, that is fine. Exactly. Fascinating. I know. And so 95% of the avocados consumed today are Haas avocados. I know it's much like we learn about corn and tomato and all these other things that are like the iteration we know today is not at all what the original version was. And it's very funny to me that the Haas avocado, which I know is the The avocado, avocado. like Kleenex. Yeah, that is not that's only been around for 100 years. What? Wild. I know. Wild. And then to close it out with a few more fun facts, the oldest avocado pit ever found is 9,000 to 10,000 years old and was discovered in a cave in Puebla, Mexico. Wild. I know. I know. And then there are more than 500 types of avocados all over the world. And some avocado trees can live for hundreds of years fascinating i know like a turtle you are making a commitment if you get an avocado tree (laughs) i planted one i have a a lady she's one of my favorite vendors at the farmer's market so she does pears apples cherries some other stone fruit things and avocados in the winter and so she had avocados today when i was at the farmer's market i was like they're ready for what we're doing today but Mm. they're really good they're like a firmer type you get to eat them earlier they're really they're so good yum (laughs) yum 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 avocados so tasty and a, a quick trick if you have avocados that are not ripe and you need them to ripen up the fastest way to ripen them is to put them in a brown bag in a cool dark place like a closet or a pantry and they should Zoop, speed up that we're ready process good to know yeah good to know that is all I really had to share about the glorious avocado like you said there's tons of health benefits which we're not going to go into and there's just like a thousand tasty benefits so yeah <laughs> it does everything there are <laughs> avocado cakes there are avocado we've put avocado in everything at this point so it's really an expansive topic to cover we're just going to keep it short and sweet and move on to the ingredients next. Yeah, so. exactly. I am making Gretchen do two styles of avocado because as a for person, once. Who, I know <laughs> I am making Gretchen do two things for once, as she said, because as everybody knows, I do not love fresh raw onions. I have always made with my family, who apparently also does not enjoy fresh raw onions, even though they do, but this is how we made our guacamole all the time. I'm making Gretchen make a version that has sour cream, salsa, and dried spices. Because, like I said, I don't like raw onion. And sometimes I think it's just kind of nice to make a avocado with pantry ingredients. I'm sorry, a guacamole with pantry ingredients. For my preferred recipe, you need, these are scaled down versions. You can add, enhance, change, whatever the fuck you want with these. But we're going a little bit smaller here. So two avocados, two teaspoons of sour cream. Gretchen's using toom from a couple of weeks ago. Because toom lasts forever, like diamonds. 
and is unbreakable. <laughs> and is unbreakable, yes, as we learned. Yes. Still bitter. Still bitter. <laughs> Sour cream, tomb, Greek yogurt. I'm sure you could use creme fraiche if you wanted, but some kind of tart cream thing. Then a half a cup of salsa. I prefer Herdez, but you can use any salsa you want. Who cares? And then one to two teaspoons chili powder, one to two teaspoons onion powder, one to two teaspoons garlic powder, one teaspoon cayenne, and some salt. You can put pepper if you want. I don't always like the crunch of pepper on my teeth, so I make it optional. Then for a traditional guacamole, you would want two beautifully ripe avocados, a quarter of an onion chopped finely, one jalapeno finely chopped. This is optional depending on your heat tolerance. One quarter cup of cilantro finely chopped, one to two teaspoons of lime juice, one to two tomatoes finely chopped, and salt to taste. Pretty much you just mix all that stuff up in both versions. <laughs> Not making it complicated today. We are just providing you with guacamole options here. Because we wanted to eat it. And it's easy. A really fun thing, easy to, thing to do. Yeah. The traditional version d- version does re- say that you should make it in a mocha hete, like a big chunky mortar, mortar and pestle kind of thing. We do have a link to share in the notes about options. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, I'm just going to use a fork. <laughs> just kind of mash it all up together. So I, I think I'm going to use a potato masher myself. So <laughs> Perfect. So let's get to so, it. I guess. Let's get to it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You're just going to hear a lot of mixing and then we will Eat it. Taste our results. Yeah. Yeah. All right. (laughs) So, okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't even open my avocados at all yet. No, me neither. We had to do that. (laughs) Open my avocados. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Got one. I've split my first avocado down the center. Okay. I'm just dropping the, scraping the halves out with my, with a spoon. Perfect. All right, I'm all out. I'm going to mash. Oh, I uh, think I cut up way too much onion. Uh, oops. <laughs> How much is it supposed to be? One quarter? quarter of an onion. I did two for some reason. I don't know what two I Two whole doing. onions? Yeah. Oh, now we have some cut up onion for later. All right. I guess so. Now I got to track down the potato masher. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Look at that. I'm done. I guess I need to salt this. I don't think it's salted. Oh, yeah. Salt, lots of salt. Time to salt it. Smush, smush, smush. (laughs) Okay, we've mixed up all the traditional ingredients, and now we're going to taste it. Ah! It looks really pretty. It does look nice, doesn't it? Yep, that's good. (laughs) Confirm. Guacamole is still good. (laughs) It's really good, though. Yeah, it's really, really good. I have to stop being surprised when simple preparations taste so good. It's easy to forget, though, how good it is Yeah, when it's fresh. <laughs> That's true. Did you try it with your beer? Oh, not yet. Mm, yum. Yeah, it works with the beer. It works. <laughs> it's not anything exciting, though. Does it change it or enhance it? Oh, that's really good. I uh, really like that. I do, too. From, did you do jalapeno? I did. Yeah. 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 Mm, yum. Yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. On to the pantry version, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> and of course, mine is already going to be slightly fancier than your standard pantry because I don't have Herdez salsa. However, mm-hmm. How did you pronounce it? Herdez, yeah. What do you have? I have my dad's salsa from the fridge. Oh, homemade. Yum. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. And then I'm going to use the tomb because I got a little bit of that (laughs) left over. Of course, yes. So, yeah, fancy. But that's what's fun about it. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can always do whatever the fuck you want. (laughs) Exactly. You can make it as classy 
a simple, a simple, a spicy. Oh yeah, we're gonna put our hot sauce in it too. Yeah. Oh my god, salt! I forgot. So important. I forgot the hot sauce. Me too. <laughs> I'm mixed. You're already eating. <laughs> I had to taste it for more seasonings. Hoping I didn't go too hard on the spices. So we mixed up our cheat pantry guacamole version. And now we're going to taste it. Now we're going to taste it. I just, okay. Here we are. That's really good. Yeah. The tomb is really fascinating in it. I bet all that garlic. Yum. How's your hot sauce? It's really good. I think I could add more. Yeah, same. It's just a fun base to play around with. I love that hot sauce. Yeah, the hot sauce is amazing. It's developed such an amazing flavor in the last 10-ish or whatever yeah. days. Mm-hmm. Almost two weeks. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, this was great. I will eat this for dinner. Yeah, this will be dinner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yum. Oh, I'm that's amazing. Just add all those onions. Do you have a preference? I mean, not that you have to like pick one, but no, I don't think so. Just yeah. because they're but they're different. Mm-hmm. But I like what the chili powder and onion and garlic powder are bringing to the table in this one. Yeah, I might add a little acid to it just to see what happens. Sure, I like some a lime. lime juice. Mm-hmm. But I like the the you know traditional one for all the the like vegetable-y chunks. Yeah, and the freshness. That fresh, there, nothing beats fresh cilantro. That's just yeah. so good. But yeah. Well, thank you for trying both of them with me. Thank you for introducing me to your family recipe from the, the cupboard. Yeah. Cheat guacamole. I was like expecting it to be, yeah, good, fine, but really it's good. really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Okay. I see what you're doing here. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Well, my mouth is burning in the best way. Yep. I am having mm, just like dreams of margaritas now. I mean, my beer tastes good with it, but I really want a salty Mm -hmm. margarita. Mm. Yeah. Yum. That that tequila taste. Exactly. Mm. Okay. Guacamole success. Guacamole success. All right. But avocado. Come follow us on the social media. We're on mm-hmm. Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. But there's there'll be things on a website at some point. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Maybe. We, it, it'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll it's happen going sooner to happen. than later. We're willing it into existence. It will happen. I'm going to yes. do it. I swear to God. I'm going to do it. I swear. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not lying. Anyway. Yes. Website. <laughs> Instagram. Whatever. Off we go. I think. Yeah. Here we go. Let's just call it. A- <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Bye. Give me some more avocados. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>